So some of you may have already seen my video about changing out the screens in this TV from the TMNT accessory set. And of course, it's pretty simple, straightforward. They're just images on squares, but I made a whole set of stuff. The first thing that came out was this, bunch of gaming screens, right? So it's cut and measured. I did everything, measured it all to be exactly the same proportions and stuff and they just slide right in and now you can have custom screens from a lot of the nostalgic stuff but that's the gaming thing right so i've gone on and done i got i gone and did done did these other ones so we've got movies with help from moscato bot collects we've got saturday morning cartoons and we've got live action TV shows. So there's a lot of different things here and there's a lot of stuff that we're missing because it's just kind of an endless thing. I've had a lot of great ideas from people and the future of this, if there's enough interest in them, we may do like themed things and do uh, like Mo said, grandma's house, which would be things like what Price is Right, Days of Our Lives, things like that that we remember from our childhood. But these are free. I am accepting all donations, please and thank you <laughs> for, you know, anybody that does decide to do a donation. But these are, they're very straightforward. They're very simple. I have some notes down here. I didn't change that text, doesn't really matter. But these are built around places like Walgreens and CVS here in the United States. Places that will print where it has no white border. They will oversize the image and upscale it. So whatever you send to them, sometimes stuff will get cropped because they're upscaling it to cut off any white border. So you just have an image edge to edge. If you're printing at home or you know of a printer that you're having it done with that does include a white border, then you need to bump these things up by 2%, okay? So these are actually scaled all the way down to 98% because that makes up the difference. And as you can see, I have these like test borders added all the way around here. And uh, this one I, where I initially put with the black squares to make sure if I print it at Walgreens is 2% the, the proper upscaling and it worked. So I knocked it down to 98%. Walgreens bumps it up 2% to kind of get rid of the white edge. But as you can see, it works perfectly. So that being said, when these are laid down over top of it, they're going to be edge to edge exactly the same, not only on the white part, but the image itself. So just like these, there's going to be a little bit of cut off because of the frame, right? You can kind of see that happening here. So there's going to be a little bit of cut off on the top and the bottom, but I'm going to include all the links, of course, with this video. And you can, like I said, download them for free, do whatever you want. International people, yeah, obviously you can download it for free as well. The trick just being, I don't know what kind of convenience store printing options you have. And then I did do test prints. So I printed one at 100% and then this one scaled it at 98%. And with Walgreens and CVS, if you don't take an image home, you don't have to pay for it. So I had the two, hey, that one's wrong. I don't need it. I just need the one and just paid for the one. And the most important thing out of all of this is to use a discount code. I highly recommend the Honey browser extension, which you can do on mobile or on desktop computers. Use that extension because you should never be paying full price for prints at Walgreens. And if you really want to wait and you have, for example, Walgreens emails coming in, a lot of times they do free eight by 10 prints. So you can just have a free print all together. You just kind of have to wait around for that. Keep checking for a free eight by 10 because if you can get it for free, why not, right? You can get this for free, Maybe donate that money to me that you would pay for the print. <laughs> uh, but I just want you all to know it's very simple. All you need is a pair of scissors. Doesn't really matter what kind of scissors you got. If you got a paper cutter, obviously even better, but everything's butted up to the edge. So all you have to do is just cut along the dotted lines and you'll have perfect cutouts that will fit exactly into the TMNT accessory TV and you can just have some fun. But thanks for watching and enjoy. Okay. Dick. <laughs>